hey guys so i know it's been a while and i have some videos that i've recorded so i'm in the process of basically editing those and getting them out to you i've been super busy on tiktok just growing my tiktok account and telling people about the wonderful world of digital products and how it's been a very amazing and lucrative journey for me and how i want to help other people to experience the things that i've experienced through digital marketing and making an income online now, if you're interested in digital marketing, you can go to the description box, click on the link tree link and click on six figure blueprint, enter your email address. You will have to purchase the product and pay a one-time website fee of $39, but that's about it. And then you, you have no more payments to make no monthly payments, no weekly payments, and you don't have to continue buying products, none of that. And that's what's so amazing about it. You buy the product once and you keep reselling it and it's just so amazing. So. Um, I'm thinking of going through telling you guys how I go about doing it and giving you step-by-step -step features here on YouTube But that's something to be built up. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. It's about my month of my the rest of the of February Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch those now <laughs> and and, and just watch the week. I haven't filmed a week in life in a really long time Like I said, I've been busy building my TikTok, which you can also find in the description box in the link tree link if you want to go over and follow me on TikTok and see what I'm doing over there. But I promise you guys, I'll be back on YouTube. I'm going to start filming again. I just had some little things that I needed to sort out. Also, my digital diary is ready, but I haven't, I've uploaded all the videos already. Well, I do have some outstanding videos that I still need to edit and upload for my digital diary. But, um, I've had I have enough content out and ready for you guys to watch. However, I've just not unlisted. I've just not listed them public yet for you guys to see. And uh, yeah, that I'm just I want to put this one out there first for you guys to see that, and then you can basically watch how my relationship on my relationships over the years unfold and crumbled and crushed to dust. Um, none of them has been successful, so spoiler alert there. <laughs> but you get to hear. Um, you get to hear about them and how I'm in my singleness and enjoying it. But anyways, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Guys, good morning and welcome to another week in my life vlog. Um, I'm still in bed. I got up earlier and I was like, I was on TikTok. I was watching TikTok. So if you don't know me and you're new to my channel, my name is Orphea. I'm a text chat operator. Well, ex text chat operator, um, cam model, and um, broadcaster. Uh, aspiring, I guess, content creator. So, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I was up watching TikTok for a bit and now I'm still in bed. So you, you get what you get basically. Um, you get the raw unedited version of me. Of course the videos need editing and put together but the content is real and raw. That's, that's what I want it to be. Not overly lit, not overly produced or anything like that. That's how I want my content to be. I don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to be work. I, I, they say if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. And that's what I want to be doing. So yeah, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So put your comments and thoughts and ideas in the comment section down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. But yeah, this is another week in my life. And I'm still cozied up in bed. It's after 9. You know, I'm able to do that <laughs> now. Uh, so recently I have started a video diary and I'm contemplating if I should post my video diary or not and I am if I post it I'm posting it on YouTube because it's less likely to go viral on YouTube than it is if I say per se post it on TikTok so yeah I'm thinking of posting it on here on YouTube because only a handful of people would watch it <laughs> should I post it or maybe I post it and make it unlisted I don't know I don't know yet but 
lately i've started a video diary and it's become i find it to be very therapeutic because i needed to talk like i needed to get some things out and i never felt like i have anyone to talk to so yeah this is the intro to my this week's vlog as my emotions are up and down my feelings are up and down and i'm just trying to regulate everything in my life right now that's what i'm trying to do because i'm not feeling like myself i'm not feeling like me and i just need to get back to being myself and me i will so i am i don't know what else to say right now <laughs> But yeah, if you want to see that, that um, if you want to see my video diaries, comment in the comment section down below. Tell me, let me know if you want to see it and I'll post it for you. I'll post it and let you guys see it. I may even post it before I post this weekly vlog. I don't know. It depends on my mood and how I feel because I've just been very um, guarded about other people and their feelings and then... I recently realized that no one else is guarded about my feelings so why should I care you know I should just do what's best for me but yeah let's go let's go wash my face and um, I already brushed my teeth but I haven't washed my face yet so let's go wash my face and get an update on my skin shall we So yeah, we're gonna wash our face. Um, my underarms are lightening up too since I started waxing, so that's a good thing because it prevents the ingrown hairs. Um, waxing has helped a lot with the ingrown hairs, and so because of that, uh, my armpits are lightening up. So I need to get more deeds, more wax melts, um, or wax beads so that I can wash wax my underarms but it's good for right now and so yeah one of the things I was contemplating doing I was contemplating should I record for my weekly vlog and do this or should I record for hold on Yeah, my son didn't turn it off properly. Oh, this noise. So one of the things I was contemplating, I'm sorry for the light, I can't do nothing about that, um, was should I do this for my weekly vlog or should I just do it for my video diaries? And the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to be posting my video diaries and I'm so I'm going to be... I may post on a daily basis. I may not. I don't know yet, but um, I've already recorded some content for my diary. But I'm going to go in with my scrub and um, So I'm going to go in with my scrub. It's my baking soda scrub. I've talked, I've told you guys about the scrub in other videos. This is basically um, baking soda uh, with diluted um, kojic acid powder uh, to help with my hyperpigmentation. Now let's give you guys a close up on my hyperpigmentation. You can see it a lot pronounced on the camera. But if you look at it now and you look at the my previous video, which I probably will do a side by side, you will see that a lot of them are fading out, which I am grateful for. So the camera shows it up a lot more pronounced, but they are fading. And, and I noticed that whenever I do something to like fade the spots, they always come up brighter before they become lighter. Um, I need to stop spot treating this right here because this was 
a pimple that I popped and I didn't want it to turn into a spot. So, oh God, that sound, you guys, is driving me nuts <laughs> right about now. But yeah, um, it turned into a spot that I didn't really want. Uh, I didn't really want this to be like a spot um turn into a dark spot so i started treating it before that so it looks white lighter so by the time it starts to heal it's gonna come to my natural skin tone right so with that being said i haven't started using my i have not started using these soaps yet no i've not because again i'm just trying to get rid of these right here first so i'm gonna wash my face I'm gonna brush my teeth again I feel like I need to brush my teeth again I don't know why so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna wash my face and I'm gonna spot treat what I am gonna do though I have made up my mind I'm gonna go ahead and um, record for my video diaries because of the fact that I feel like I'm in the mood to divulge some more information on my situation and how this whole debacle and mess started to begin with because I'm really trying to unpack and unravel what is going on with me and for me to be where I'm at at this point and for it to be that someone was able to actually literally break me so yeah I'm gonna go record for that and we'll return back to my weekly vlogs. All right guys so I just done recording for my video diaries I will be uploading my video diaries I'm not editing my video diaries so I'm doing them in short in short form because they're not being edited. They're just being recorded and posted as is. Um, there's The only thing that I'm doing is I'm just going to add an intro and an outro. That's it. I'm not doing anything else. Probably put on a thumbnail. But as it relates to the video content and quality itself, I'm not doing that. So, um, I... I'm spot treating. I have put cream on the darker spots of my skin to fade it back. I need to go to the post office. I don't know when I'm going to go to the post office, but I know I need to go to the post office and I need to pick up my um, spearmint oil to go with my moisturizer so that I can help to control and, and my, my hair. But so far I have this thing that I have been using. It says you should use it once a day. It's almost finished because it was a tiny little bottle and that seems to be working. Um, I don't know, it seems to be because some of the hairs are thinning out, but yeah, I'm, I'm really attacking my hair intensely. So this is Caratone, this is Caratone and it's a black spot corrector corrector yeah so a lot of people use this in skin lightening or skin bleaching so whenever they're bleaching their skin they would use it to like take out the darker parts of their knuckles so if they're doing a full body bleach it comes in a kit so if you're one of those persons who wants to bleach your skin i'm not recommending it but people do it people do whatever and it's only flesh when you when you die you're not taking it with you so whatever you do with it it's your business i'm just telling you how people would use it so they would rub this all over their skins and then this spot cream here they would put it on their knuckles and their knees to and elbows and stuff all those hard to fade areas they would put it on that to blend it in to make it look like they are naturally brown for me I'm a brown person, so when I pick at my skin, the dark spots come up and you can see them. So I put this on the spots and it tends to get rid of them um, in a couple of days, like a week or so. It depends on how often I use it, but yeah. So this time around, I don't want to be having have to always go back to these. I want it to be possible that if I just, if I can only use the soap, the Kojic Acid Soap and probably the Kojic Acid Powder. Because here's the powder, y'all, the Kojic Acid Powder. You have to dissolve this in hot water first and make sure that it's all melted before you add it to like your rose water or any kind of essential thing to spray on your face. If you're going to use it in your rose water, then it's recommend that you heat up your rose water and put this in it and dissolve it in the rose water and then use it on your skin. But... 
yeah so this is what I'm using to take out the dark spots out of my skin and if y'all want to say I'm bleaching that's your problem I don't give two pennies again um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head in and I'm gonna make my bed the water is just so in in the background but I'm gonna head into my room now I'm gonna make my bed and I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm probably gonna record some TikTok videos and upload some TikTok videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, this current video that I have out now, I'm gonna let it run for like a day or two more before I start publishing these new videos. Um, I do have I do have the video up about I do have the mini series up about the digital marketing and if you want more information on that please don't be afraid to put it in the comment section down below let me know so I can give you the information if you keep your mouth shut there's no way for me to know I can only know if you tell me okay um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do now finish up with my day I probably make more notes I probably make more video diaries as well I don't know but what I do know is making these video diaries are it is helping me it's helping me to feel more to release more and to let go and I believe that it it, it reason being is because going back in the past for my relationships to see where I'm coming from to see what broke the camel back to get me to the point now where I am in this consistent state of sadness. Um, I think it would help me a lot, you know? So that's that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. And so far it is helping a lot because I realize that, and we're gonna talk, when I say relationships, I'm not talking only about um, intimate relationships. I'm talking about friendship as well with girlfriends and stuff like that. Um, to, so to, for us to figure out why I'm here now and how to move forward after the healing begins. Because I'm not only healing, I'm growing with the experience. And um, it's if you heal and you don't grow, you just remain the same person. So, And I don't want that because doing the same thing over and over again is just insanity. And I don't consider myself to be insane. So, yeah. All right. I will talk to you guys either later on in the day or tomorrow. But, and I'm going to log in too for work so because I haven't worked yesterday. So I'm going to log in too for work. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning. So it is Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. And um, I got to be up early. I need to put some clothes on the line and... I need to go to the hardware to get some tangent, tangent, I don't know what y'all call it, but we call it tangent in Jamaica, but it, I think it's tangent, I don't know, but anyways, um, yeah, I, my pipe got, my pipe burst yesterday, so my pipe needs to fix, so I have no water in the house right now, and I don't feel like going nowhere. I really don't. I just want to I just want to be home in bed being me. <sighs> Been feeling this way for a while now. Where I just I don't want to be nowhere. I just want to be home in bed. That's all I want to do. I know people would have days like that, but I've been having a week like that. You know, just wanting to, just wanting to wake up and not be anywhere, just be home, just be, but I have to go, I have to go get this, cause if I don't, who will, and I need water, and I hate not having water, so yeah we need to go on the run and take care of that even though i know once i walk out the door i'm gonna be okay let's let's do this let's let's set the camera up properly oh my goodness i'm having such a hard time i had such a hard time setting up the camera just now but oh 
it is what it is. I'm sure once I step outside and and be on the road, I'll feel a little better. But to be honest with you, leaving the house like it's not really my thing. I haven't made another entry yet in my um in my video diaries but i do need to make one and the devil tried me yesterday y'all he tried me by giving me a story one that i didn't want to hear and i gotta think about sharing it or not in my video diaries i may i may not because i may not put light on it or give it any attention but then again i just might i don't know but I guess you can say things happen and people happen. Like, I'm just at a point in my life where I'm staying away from people. Now, as far as it is into February, yes, I do still have my balloons out and up. And reason being, because I'm, you can, you can call me lazy, whatever, I don't care, but... I don't have nothing to do with them. It's not like I'm going to let the air out and keep them for a later date. I don't have kids to give them to. So, they're just here popping and deflating. And when all that's said and done, I toss them out, you know. But for right now, I just have a little fun with them. Normally, what I would do, like... On Valentine's Day when I do blow up. The last time when I blew up the balloons on Valentine's Day. The last time when I did that. What I did, I put little strips of paper in them. And so when I was broadcasting, I played a game where they would send me coins. And I would pop the balloon. And whatever is on the sheet of paper inside the balloon. That's what they would, that's what I would do. So if it says like, um dance then i dance if it says try again then they have to try again if it says um if it says like play music or select you know something something fun interesting intriguing and you know yeah tell a truth tell a dare whatever whatever you can come up with to make it fun to make your um cam experience a lot better when you're doing your shows that's what i fill it with if you are person who is into the nude camming you know you can put a little extra in there as it relates to your toys and all of that so you can do that you know um so that's what i did that's what i did for the last time but this time around i did nothing because honestly i really don't feel like working the most work that i do is when i turn on my cam and my cam will be on and if somebody comes in and chat with me i just chat with them like a regular phone call but um i haven't really been doing much i don't know why and i'm not fighting it i'm just going with the flow of how i feel right now because like i said there's been a lot going on and there's a lot of emotions that i have bottled up and i think i need to release those emotions because they are affecting certain aspects of myself and my life and how I am my mood and how I operate and I don't like it so that's the reason why I started the video diaries oh digital marketing is a real thing it is blowing up so go ahead and use the link in my description box go to the six figure blueprint sign up it's only 50 bucks it's not you know 600 500 it, it's only 50 bucks the only other charge that you probably will see after that is 39 dollars so that the 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 um so that the person can set up your website for you we'll put in all your links and buttons and whatnot but um that's about it that's it there's nothing more there's no underlying fees there's no pop-up fees there's no reoccurring fees and you have your own automated business just working for you of course in the initial beginning you would have to do some work but for the most part you have your business doing work for you um i'm gonna be doing updated videos on email mark um, god why do i keep saying email marketing 
I'm gonna be doing updated videos on digital marketing now that I because the more I learn the more I will share with y'all even though you know I'm in it I still don't know everything about it so I'm just gonna share with y'all as I go along um yeah let me brush I'm brushing this hair out because I'm talking to y'all and I'm thinking about what do I need to do what do I need to get done as I'm talking to y'all I'm thinking about that because if I'm gonna go get the tangent right I also need to think about because I'm going close to the supermarket and I don't want to go on the road multiple times so I also need to think about little things that I don't have that I do need to get so I'm gonna be yeah I need to do that I need to do that yeah, let's go put some clothes on yeah, I had to put some clothes on because the girl needed to this morning I opened up my door and a lizard fell on me. Now I'm, I'm afraid of lizards, y'all. Like I don't like them. And one just popped on me like that. I was, I almost lost it. Hold up. Yeah, so I almost lost it with the lizard. I was like, not the lizard. I already washed my face and brushed my teeth. For the past couple of days, I think two days has passed and I haven't spot treated, but we, you need to get into this. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to. So you can see they're fading. I'm going to try and find an old footage. I washed my face. I haven't, um, <laughs> I have not moisturized my face yet. And I need to. So we're going to put some Andy ointment on my face. Let's go do that and get the clothes sorted out to put on the line. Let's do that. Because you can see here, like, the scab. This is the pimple that I told y'all that I popped. And I put the cream on it just so that it doesn't turn into these dark spots here. And you can see that they are fading. Fading. But my skin is dry because I washed my face and I did nothing to it so let's go moisturize my face and get out the um do the laundry I just rubbed on some Andy ointment onto my skin and you can see I changed the top and I'm just wearing these tights or leggings or whatever because we're not gonna go too far maybe my purse because it has my card and let me get some money what do I need to buy I have no clue what do I need to buy or what I'm gonna buy? Because I just don't know. Anyways, um, besides the tangent. But anyways, yes, let's let's go get my pipe fixed. And let me let me brush this hair out first so I don't look too crazy. I can't
I wouldn't mind if I'm able to like find a sugar daddy where I'm out when I'm out. <laughs> but the chances of finding a sugar daddy in the St. James Trelawney region is like on a scale of one to ten, it's like a negative ninety-nine, right? <laughs> you want to find sugars you want to find you want to find sugars you want to find go to Kingston like you want to find the dudes that will you want to find the dudes that will make you feel like a queen and not be like oh you need to give me some pooch for that go to Kingston like go to Kingston that's where I found the best set of dudes is kingston in jamaica is kingston like montego bay is not it st james is not it guys if you're offended over this if you see this and you're offended that's your problem that's a you thing that's not a me thing um but yeah because it is it's just a whole different life sometimes you feel like you're in a whole different world when you change parishes that's what it feels like to live in jamaica yeah but anyways, let's get on this road and get some stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be recording for my video diaries while I'm walking on the road. But I do know that I'm not going to really be vlogging per se. So yeah, I don't even know where I left off. Like, where did I leave off talking to y'all? I don't even know. And I haven't even started posting them yet. Probably won't be posting them until Monday. We'll see. We'll see. Which Monday is what the 26th? Yeah, so we probably won't start posting until then. Let's let's mark our days off our calendar for the month or the year to end. I don't know. Okay, let's go, guys. So here, guys, I did not do an intro or anything, but I was just getting ready to go out on the road because I needed to get to the post office and I needed to get some things done. So I'm just here getting ready and just feeling myself in the entire process so just enjoy the rest of the vlog as i get ready to go run some errands I haven't told y'all where I'm going. Y'all saw me get ready. I'm going in town to the post office and to the bank and I don't know what else. And then I come home. So yeah, the vibes is there. So let's do it. All right. So that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm heading. So I'll see you guys. I'm. I have the music going. So I don't think that I'm gonna be um. I don't think I'm gonna be recording much because I just I just want to vibe out for a bit. Okay. As usual, I'm at the post office. Y'all know that this is what my errands consist of most of the time when I need to leave my house is just to come to the post office. <laughs> like if it was never for Amazon, would I really be on the road though? Change. Okay. Thank you. I hope this time the extra bottle is not broken because the last one the extra bottle was broken in it. So I hope this time the extra bottle I can use with this is an essential oil. It's not broken. So 
I did make a big deal out of it because um, at the end of the day, the bottle was empty and it was just a, like a tiny little bottle of those cute. Um, and even though I was disappointed over it, it wasn't a big deal. So, and if it's broken again, then it still won't be a big deal. But there you go. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, still for some type of water. Anyways, let's leave. Hey y'all, so excuse that noise. The toilet tank is filling up. I just blushed it. So I went on the road today. So I went to the post office. I went to the bank. I went to I went to pick up some groceries and then I hopped in a vehicle, came home. Hopped in a vehicle, came home, realized that I can't find my um the my head my earphones, my earbuds, the case, I can't find it. I brought it with me. And so I, I, I had to leave and go back to see the last place I went. When I went there, the security guard said he saw it. It fell on the floor. Blase, blase. I don't know. Nobody can find it now. So I guess I need a new case or a brand new um, set of Bluetooth um, earpiece. Whatever. Things happen. But anyways, I went and I picked this up at the post office today I got it off Amazon you know your girl is an Amazon girly um this time yay the bottle is not broken so happy about that because the last time the bottle was broken for this one which is the um this one is what the tea tree oil the tea tree oil the small bottle that came with it was broken but now this small bottle is not so I'm excited about that so it comes in this box right here and this comes with this inside of it and then this inside so that they don't break this so they basically secure everything for this right but this is not really secure and it's really thin too so you know we're gonna use this for the first time um we're gonna use this because I got this because they said it helps for what it's called herst herstracism I, I don't even know how to pronounce it it sounds wrong um so it helps with that. That's where you have more testosterone um, in your body than you're supposed to have as a female. And so because of that, tea tree oil is a way to balance that out, which is pretty cool, right? I think so. Um, that you have something that can balance it out. But the best thing to do really is to try and balance it out from the inside. If you can, which they do recommend that you drink the um, spearmint tea. But this one you mix with your moisturizer and you rub it onto your face. Um, I'm not going to be getting on ready with you guys because I'm going to go on TikTok and film a couple TikTok videos. So I'm going to be doing that there. And making those videos for that there um, because I'm gonna talk a little bit more about um, digital marketing and the digital marketing products that are available and what's going on in the world of digital marketing right now I will be doing another updated video of course on YouTube about digital marketing because there are some very exciting changes that are coming up and I'm so excited about those changes and so for that um, I am going to share with y'all, but because I haven't put out the video on that as yet, which by the time this video comes out, that video would be out about it. So look out for that. Go to the one before that and before this video. And I am going to be, I am also going to be, ooh, close this up I am also going to be um I lost my train of thought there what on earth was I gonna say I don't remember 
I completely lost my train of thought. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys more information on that. Um, there's some exciting things coming up. Um, first of all, the $50 one, well, you can still do the $50 one if you want to, but the $50 one will be out the door. And now we're just doing like a um, hundred. That way you get more with a package. <coughs> and that's all in March. So I will be coming out with more information on, on that, of course, for y'all. Um, as well, but you can follow me on TikTok. You'll have all the information you want there But I do have a separate TikTok account that is specifically dedicated to digital marketing Besides my personal TikTok account, which I you know post little Little videos on you know little tiki talks on but yeah, so I'm gonna do my little tiki talk now I'm also gonna be doing a diary entry Today I'm going to be recording a video for that and I'm going to start posting next week. That's when the posting will start of all of these and I will be setting them up of course in a series and I'll be putting them in a playlist for you to be able to find one to whatever and as I go along I share these information with y'all but overall like I said it's been very therapeutic sharing this information with y'all. It's been very therapeutic and it's been helping. I kind of feel like I don't have anything to say, but I know that I do have so much more to say. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to share all of it with y'all. And I'm just going to continue doing like little video diaries of little things. And um, so you can use that to get to know me better. Why is there a, is that a, hold up. So yeah, that was a spider y'all. So look at my arms look at my arms not as dark as they used to be i need to purchase some more um wax beads because i'm running out so i need to purchase some more of those so i'm gonna go ahead and do that yeah so we're gonna remove all this from my face now and i'm gonna do that for the tiki talk so i'll talk to you you guys later when i'm done making my tiki talk so babies i just spend the time on tiktok talking trying to the only thing i got done was to remove my eyelashes yeah the only thing i did was i achieved <laughs> doing my little tiki talk was removing the eyelashes because i was just talking so yeah i'm back over here would be all to just remove this makeup. I'm so excited to be getting rid of my um just jumping all over the place with this vlog with y'all because I've been missing days sometimes so this is the next morning you guys um, after I finish you know removing my makeup and getting ready for my day my well my evening this is the next morning where I'm just going to have some breakfast and do some journaling outside so yeah continue watching after six what time is it yeah 6 19 and um it is saturday saturday february 24 and we're gonna pick 
my laundry up off the line and yeah we had a very healing day you could say see it's still light out but because i it's kind of a little bit dark in my room and i um why did i leave my books out here i didn't even, i don't even know why i left my books out here but i left my books and my pen maybe i was supposed to i grounded myself I like to walk barefoot outside sometimes, even on the prickly stones. Like, I was completely barefooted when I did my photo shoot, for sure, for sure. But, yep. Let's go put my books inside and take my clothes up off the line. Because they need to get up off the line. For sure, for sure. Okay. Usually I put something on TV. Think about you and me, but today I see our reflections clearly in Hollywood, laying on the screen. You just need a better life than this. You need something I can never give. Fake water all across the road. It's gone now, the night is come. But sometimes I think about it's you. Late nights in the middle of June. He waves been faking me. now sunday the 25th of february and yeah that's what it is that's what today it is we're gonna go and wash my face got some water running hold on i get i need to get you guys up properly so hold on so yeah now that i have you guys up properly I'll just wrap this hair up real good I think I'm gonna um, bring the part closer together. I don't know. Cause I'm gonna keep this hair in for as long as I can, like three months or so. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it afterwards. I think I'm probably gonna go back to my wig. But anyways, I already brushed my teeth. What I did not do is wash my face. So let's do a little check on my progress. Do you see that? It's fading, fading out. Even though I haven't done my spot treatment for, I think, two days now. But yeah, we're going to go right back into it. Um, we're going to go right back into my spot treatment today. But right now we're just going to... Um, just gonna get myself ready for my day I'm not doing anything I'm not going anywhere um, I'm just gonna wash my face and clean up and just get right back into bed because that's what my days are like waking up and going back to sleep <laughs> I'm just kidding I get a little bit of work done so I get some work done a girl got to work. I'm going to log in. I'm, I'm logged in for camming and broadcasting. I did get a customer. I did get a client last night. Oh, we chatted for a bit. It was in the morning, early morning. We chatted for a bit. That was nice. It is easier to do the neck portion in the shower. But I just use my rag to remove whatever. 
And this is just to exfoliate. Again, this is my face wash mixed with my, um, what you call it? My scrub mixture, my baking soda scrub mixture. And I like to rub on these areas just a little bit more. I like to rub on the areas that I have dark spots at just a little bit more because they exfoliate the dead skin because the spot treatment basically lifts off the hyperpigmentation, the darker part of my skin. Um, let me wash this off because I think I got a little in my eyes. Y'all already know that I like to use whatever on my face, on my neck as well, just so that I don't have six different colors. Like everything blends in. And I do need to use it, of course, because of my dark spots. Duh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I'm going in with St. Ives Moisturizer. I've never used this moisturizer before, but what I do like about it is that a little bit goes a long way. So I can see this bottle lasting me for a really long time. So I like that about it because when you do the baking soda scrub, it tends to make your skin pretty dry and you don't want that. So, again, we're going in with this. I take a little from the cat because there's some in there. Some in there. And I take about this much. And then the spearmint oil. I tend to smell like toothpaste afterwards. With the, with the St. Ives and the spearmint oil, I feel like I smell like toothpaste. I use three drops just because it's really, really minty. And I rub it all over my neck and chest because I do experience. So this is supposed to help with PCOS. Those are for people who have like um women that has trouble with facial hair so it's supposed to help with that and i tend to have hair growing all over so and i want to get rid of it so So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit for a while and then I'm going to go in with my face cream afterwards. That's the skin lightening cream that I've been using. I still have not started with my soap just yet, but I will be starting it as soon as some of my other soaps are done. I'm just using up those. I'm not wasting. And um, But for right now, I'm just going to let this do its thing in my skin and then I apply a light um, amount of that lightening cream all over because you can see there's some parts that are lighter than the spots so we're gonna do that but yeah <sighs> what am I gonna do now what am I gonna do and now tongue tie <laughs> I'm going to hop into bed I'm gonna log into broadcasting because I'm not I'm logged into Cami. I'm gonna make me some breakfast. That's what I'm gonna do first thing. I'm gonna make me some breakfast because I need something to eat. And yeah, let's go.
much don't forget to like comment and subscribe you can also share don't forget that my um the opportunity to start your own business can be found in the description box down below you will have to purchase your product and you will have to pay a one-time website fee because you, you're not doing anything technical um so that's the only thing that you need to do and you get the product to sell over and over and over again and you get a hundred percent profit everything goes to your bank account um so the link is in the description box in the link tree um click on the link tree link click on six figure blueprint enter your email address and yeah you can get started with your own business today and make up to six hundred dollars a day which is just fabulous um it's been working so wonderful for me like i said before but yeah you guys thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for being patient with me and i promise i'll be back on so until the next one love you bye <laughs>